What's up everybody, welcome back to Time for Movies. Well, I have another movie review here for you, and it is this year's The Invisible Man. Uh, yes, I finally got a chance to watch it. Um, I wasn't quite going to do the $20 uh, rental, so I just waited until it landed on Vudu uh, for $14.99, where you can actually own the digital copy, watch it as many times as you want. Uh, and uh, so right now, if you are interested in it, uh, and interested in owning the digital copy, it's available on Vudu or Amazon, should be, should be around uh, $14.99. So, uh, this, this whole plot line for uh, The Invisible Man, it goes all the way back to, uh, written by H.G. Uh, Wells originally, it goes all the way back to 1933. This was one of the one of those uh, universal uh, monsters, universal villains, you could say, with uh, that, that links up with uh, with uh, Dracula, uh, the werewolf, um, or, or Wolfman, uh, Frankenstein, uh, the Mummy, uh, and uh, creature from the Black Lagoon type thing. Um, so this is all this is all around uh, the same uh, universal uh, uh, monsters you could say, and also the Invisible Man has been uh, remade a lot. Um, John Carpenter did a version uh, with uh, with Chevy Chase. Uh, I think it was uh, Memoirs of the Invisible Man or something like that. Um, and then Hollow Man. Uh, actually was released uh, with uh, with Kevin Bacon I guess that's a version of the Invisible Man and so director uh, uh, Lee Winnell uh, decided to uh, do his own all right so the uh, the plot line I'm gonna grab a, uh, a little uh, plot synopsis here from uh, I DB I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep this as uh, spoiler free as I can because this movie is kind of only about two or three months old uh, we're gonna go with this one the film follows Cecilia who receives the news of her abusive ex-boyfriend's suicide she begins to rebuild her life for the better however her sense of reality is put into question when she begins to suspect her uh, deceased lover is not actually dead and uh, so there's pretty much the uh, the plot there I try to keep that as spoiler free as I can the uh, the director for this the direction for this is uh, Lee Winnell uh, he also uh, wrote the screenplay and stuff like that um, if you're not aware, Lee Lee Winnell, we could thank Lee Winnell uh, for for at least the past 15 years of um, of soaring uh, horror uh, series of of of, of movies. Uh, he he co-created uh, with with James Wan. Uh, he co-created uh, the Saw, and so all the Saw movies are all based off of his you know original characters. Uh, he also uh, wrote uh, Insidious, so all those characters are based off of his off of his uh, writing, uh, and he even directed uh, Insidious Chapter Three, which I happen to actually like. I give that about an eight out of ten. Uh, he also did from 2018 uh, the uh, more of a like a non horror approach, uh, an action sci fi fantasy uh, upgrade which is a action uh, masterpiece, in my opinion. Uh, so if you haven't seen Upgrade yet, definitely check it out. If you haven't seen Insidious Chapter 3, uh, most likely you probably have to watch the other Insidiouses. Uh, but uh, definitely check out uh, Insidious Chapter 3. Give it a, give it a chance. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I think that when it comes to the direction itself, uh, Lee Winnell was about an 8.5. This is one of his, uh, this is one of his best out of those three movies. Uh, I think in my opinion it's, it's probably Upgrade, uh, The Invisible Man, and, uh, Insidious Chapter 3. Uh, just my opinion there. Um, so he did a very good job. Uh, the, the writing is 
it's about a seven out of ten for me. Uh, I think it was just pretty good. There isn't any like memorable, uh, like memorable piece of writing, memorable piece of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of dialogue or anything. It's not gonna win. It's not gonna win. You know, best best uh, you know adapted screenplay or whatever. Um, it's it was just pretty good for me. Um, it kind of falls apart a bit in the last 10, 15 minutes or so, uh, but I will go into that with the uh, with the ending uh, later on in the review. Uh, when it comes to the acting, uh, the cast includes Elizabeth Moss, uh, Oliver Jackson uh, Cohen, Harriet uh, Dyer, uh, Aldous Hodge and Storm Reed, and also Michael Dorman. Now the cast is uh, led by Elizabeth Moss. Uh, I think this is one of the, I think this is one of Elizabeth Moss's like best roles, uh, like ever. Uh, this is this is kind of like her main first big movie, you can say. Uh, she's been very uh, supportive in the past. Uh, she did do uh, The Handmaiden's Tale. Uh, now, I haven't watched that uh, TV series, um, so I have no opinion on her character from that. Uh, and then she also did uh, Mad Men, or Mad Men, uh, that, uh, that uh, TV series. And, um, but, in my opinion, uh, I think she did a fantastic job uh, with this role. Uh, she adds a lot of, like, fear in this, uh, in this type of role, but she's also kind of smart, actually, uh, with with the way that she plans stuff out and stuff like that. Um, so, she did a fantastic job. Uh, I'd give her performance about a 10. Um, the way that this year is going, uh, I could see her like maybe getting nominated for at least uh i don't know golden globe or something like that uh, i don't th I, I i don't know if this is oscar material but she might be up there i mean it might be a surprise but i'm not too sure um oliver jackson cohen plays her significant other uh boyfriend uh adrian griffin who um Maybe the Invisible Man. Um, I think <laughs> this might just be me, but I think that this actor kind of looks like uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers from Green Bay Packers. Kind of does a little bit. Uh, so maybe that's just me, but I did notice that uh, watching him in this role. Um, I just think I just think he's just was average with the acting. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's just, he's a bit flat, you could say, uh, with his acting. Uh, Harriet uh, Dreyer played the sister of uh, Elizabeth Moss's character. Uh, she was just kind of just average, too. Uh, there was a father and daughter uh, that uh, that uh, are, are in a friendship with... Uh, Cecilia's character and uh, Aldris Hodge and Storm Reed and they were just they were they were pretty good at uh, at uh, what they added to the story. Uh, Storm Reed is actually the little girl from uh, from The Wrinkle in Time or A Wrinkle in Time, uh, but nobody cares about that movie. So, but she she showed that she had some really good acting chops. Uh, in this uh, in this movie, so all in all, for the acting, I would give it a solid nine out of ten, and that's just basically just based off of uh, Moss's character and what we got from uh, Old, uh, Oldest Hodge and Storm Reed. The cinematography is probably the best element of this movie. Uh, it does a lot of uh, interesting uh, lighting and stuff like that, uh, techniques, uh, hallway. Um, hallway uh, camera angles, um, uh, wide shots, uh, 
tracking shots, pivoting back and forth, uh, worked really well. Uh, it, it's a uh, it's one of those movies that uh, you're not too sure if you're actually seeing something over on this side of the uh, of the shot or not, uh, and it kind of pivots around. So you're just like, is there something over there that you're supposed to be seeing? Because I'm, we're not too sure. So it's that type of uh, of uh, filmmaking there. Um, so I think that they did a really good good job with the cinematography. Give that about a ten out of ten. Uh, production design is about a nine out of ten. They really did get um, the uh, the 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 invisible uh, invisible man type technique just down pat. They did a really good job on that, and uh, just like some of the violence that happens and stuff, uh, they did a really good job there. There's a uh, there's a hallway sequence. Uh, in a in, in a type of hospital that uh, is is really cool, uh, really cool what they do with that, uh, how they how they design uh, that sequence stuff like that. Um, I will say that a drawback is the Aldrich's or Adrian Griffin's uh, home is kind of like a. Kind of like a Tony Stark type thing. It's a it's 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 a rich, wealthy house on a cliff, uh, by uh, by uh, by some water, by 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 an ocean or whatever like that. Uh, there is a there is a walkway, kind of like a walkway that goes down uh, in an angle, like goes down a level from like the driveway you could say or whatever. Uh, that is very significant if you've seen upgrade they kind of had a similar uh similar type setting uh to the main uh, doctor or scientist or whatever um so very similar there uh i'm pretty sure this is a technique that uh that uh that uh, uh lee winnell uh uses and i'm not too uh i wouldn't be too surprised that in his next movie which is a, a remake of imdb says that he's going to be doing a remake of a, escape from new york uh, so if he uses a structure a similar structure like that uh, i wouldn't be too surprised so very similar there if you've seen upgrade and and visible man uh, you can kind of point out what i'm trying to point out um, so 9 out of 10 production design music is a 9 out of 10 uh, there was some really great music in this movie uh, I'll tell you what it was, it was good stuff um, genre is a 10 out of 10 uh, it was very uh, there was horror in there uh, very like realistic horror you could say uh, and they did a really good job with the, uh, with the uh, you know how the invisible man uh, you know, you know, attacks and stuff like that. Uh, the mysteries there, you don't exactly know, like, like if, if the invisible man is like in, is in like in the same room with you, uh, like if I was doing this recording like I am, he could be sitting right here or standing by the door. Uh, so, so they did a really good job showing that. Sci-fi clearly. Uh, I don't think we we've got an invisibility down pat um, for uh, for science and thriller. This was this was quite a thriller to watch. Um, memorable, rewatchable. Uh, I would give it about a seven out of ten. Uh, I'm fine right now with the digital uh, for 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 rewatching. Uh, I probably won't uh, day one pick up uh, for the uh, for the 4K. Uh, maybe if it was lower down around Black Friday or so, uh, or or any other sale price, uh, I would I would pick it up. But I'm 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 fine with the digital right now. Uh, first ten minutes is a nine point five. Uh, it was a great start for the movie, and uh, it it really gets you into the movie. Uh, kind of like the the type of setting, the type of character uh development uh how how uh the character of 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 uh, cecilia 
and 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 it really does uh, start the movie uh, great. Uh, the ending, like I said, this goes back to the writing in the last ten or fifteen minutes of the movie. Um, the ending is kind of open open ended, you could say. Uh, it's very questionable what goes down. Uh, I might have to w watch a uh, ending explain type video. Um, it's it's not it's not told to you like this is what like this is what happened. Um, maybe like in like a deleted scene, alternate ending type thing. But um, yeah, it didn't really. I mean, it didn't really nailed it you can say uh, for me at least so I would give the ending about a 5 5.5 5 or so somewhere between a 5 and a 6 it didn't really nail the ending for me and did I like it um, like a 7 out of 10 uh, it's it's it, it's a pretty good movie it's it's uh, it's enjoyable especially for the cinematography the sound uh, how they did the invisibility. It's it's pretty good in that aspect. So my rating for The Invisible Man is an 8.5 or an 8 out of 10. So pretty much 8.5 out of 10. Somewhere around an A-. minus. Uh, would I recommend watching this? Yes, I would. Um, and um, rather... I mean, majority of people have probably already seen this, kind of, I guess. Uh, but wait a few weeks. You could probably wait a few weeks for when the physical action comes out. Uh, rent it on Vudu or Amazon. And so you can decide if you actually want to buy it or not. Uh, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't buy it as a blind buy. Um, because most likely you'll 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 find it actually pretty good, uh, but uh, but I'm gonna wait on a sale price when it comes to uh, physical media. So that's pretty much it. That's my review of of uh, the Invisible Man. A little bit longer here, but I wanted to go more into uh, the details about this movie. Uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe, like, hit that bell notification for any other movie re reviews. Uh, I'm gonna pop up. Uh, there is a link to my letterbox in the uh, description of this video and go ahead and follow me on letterbox you can see all the movies I see daily weekly and uh, yeah just just uh, would appreciate a follow on that and um, yeah comment down below your thoughts on the invisible man try to keep it spoiler free because this movie is like I said only about two or three months old so that's pretty much it, and uh, I will talk to everybody later, and stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.